What's up guys, what's up familia? This is Silent Mike and today, this week, I've had the pleasure to learn and work with the one and only Professor Boris Shako from Russia, the legendary, the most influential powerlifting coach in the game. And right now, we have a series of dope content straight from the man's mouth, a very cool interview. And I'd also like to announce that we now have live in the description the best translated Boris Shako programs that have ever been here in the US or been in English and they are now available. Check them out below. There's a couple different options, some powerlifting, a little bit of off season and different levels. So check the description below. The Boris Shako Kaizen program is now available. Enjoy the video. Now this isn't a very common question I get because I think it's an American uh, cultural thing and maybe an issue even is that people don't know where to throw themselves and not that we have to categorize everything but you need to generally know speaking if you're a beginner intermediate and advanced um, Mr. Shago how do you uh, kind of fit people into this and then what are some of the differences in training uh, generally speaking between kind of a beginner intermediate and advanced <clears throat> Спортсмен идет впервые в зал, он понимает, что он начинающий спортсмен, он еще ничего не умеет, ничего не знает. И тут очень важно, чтобы ему попался грамотный тренер, опытный тренер, который будет его вести от, по технике, по методике тренировок, все дальше и дальше. So basically, you know, the Namas one is easy because you just show up to the gym, you haven't trained much, you're Namas. And then uh, ideally you would find a very good coach in order to guide you through that process. But um, the question of novice to intermediate and intermediate to advanced is answered firstly by numbers, just how much you're lifting. And secondly, it's also answered by the level of competition you're capable of entering and winning or entering and placing. So for example, if you don't place at like a, a regional meet, then you're probably not advanced and you may be intermediate. If you start placing well at regional meets, maybe you're intermediate caliber. And this, of course, isn't in the, so much the developmental sense, but what kind of programs you'll be able to benefit from most, right? And then if you are, for example, meddling at the national level, you make the US national team, for example, your IPF team, then it doesn't matter, even if you've been training only for five years, then you're very much in the advanced sort of uh, elite category. So it's more, yeah, loads, volume you can handle because you're strong enough. Might as well uh, push those a little I bit. I think that's the idea. Yeah. yeah. Beautiful. Когда спортсмен впервые приходит в зал, он ему всегда кажется, что все очень сильные, один он самый слабый. После двух-трех лет тренировок он видит, что уже вокруг него не такие уже сильные спортсмены, и есть которые равны его, но и еще есть которые сильнее. И вот он когда постепенно знаете, как говорят в России, надо стараться стать сначала э, средним среди лучших, а потом лучшим среди средних, и уже думая об элите. So basically everyone, when they come to the gym for the first time, think that, they're, well, everyone is stronger than me and everyone is so strong. And as they progress, they realize that well, not everyone is quite strong. Maybe two or three years later, not everyone around you is strong. And then eventually, you know, there's still strong people to strive for, and eventually there's few, very few, few people left. It seems like everyone's getting weaker. And, um, you know, he said uh, there's a Russian saying that at first you want to be sort of intermediate among the advanced, and then you want to be advanced among the intermediates, and then after that you, you know, continue to ascend uh, until you are at the highest level you're capable of. Yeah, that's beautiful. Ladies and gentlemen, you just watch a quick clip of the interview I had with the one and only Dr. Boris Shako and where I tried to ask him his definitions between beginner, advanced, intermediate. Um, because when we kind of talked off camera, we got a good taste that he was super precise in everything he did. Uh, and here in America, I feel like strength sports are starting to catch up. I mean, he has a PhD in heavy training, which basically just means like barbells and throwing, like squat bench dead, clean and jerk snatch, and then shot put, discus, etc. So uh, how precise he is with everything he says uh, and everything he programs and does. And when we tried to make this program for everybody, we were trying to figure out what in our words or our thoughts or our language or here in America would translate and make him understand what we were trying to get at. Because in America, I feel like the difference between a beginner, intermediate, advanced, 
um, still is kind of fuzzy. Everyone has their own definition. And before that, you know, I only thought about it as one way, uh, as many other people do, where a beginner, you can kind of, it's almost how often you can gain strength or PR. Uh, where a beginner, you know, you can kind of just be linear and you can gain five or 10 pounds on your lift every single week. Um, and then an intermediate, maybe you can PR every uh, four weeks or every eight weeks. And then an advanced lifters PRing every eight, 12, 16 weeks, to, uh, maybe 16 weeks, depending on how advanced you are or how old you are. Or for me, my old definition was probably more by training age. And not to say that my definition's right or wrong, but how Mr. Shaco looks at it, I think is very interesting because he's looking at it at what athletes are going to be champions because he only basically works with the national level team in both weightlifting and powerlifting. So he's looking at which people have the potential to handle what type of training rather than how long the athlete's training, what they need right now, or what he's categorizing the athlete by their potential in the future rather than uh, just actually trying to categorize them where he said basically if this guy's, you know, if a 200 pound guy is deadlifting 600 pounds, he doesn't really care if he's uh, been training for three or one years or one to three years. Either way, he's going to be able to give this guy a certain amount of volume and a certain type of training because he is at that strength to lift that amount of weight at that body weight, uh, which I find very interesting. And I do think that, um, like Dr. Mike uh, translated, that if you are at a national level, you can kind of throw out how often you've been training or how long you've been training. Now that's not to say that every national level lifter can train the exact same way uh, because training age, actual age, injuries, impingements, whatever, do play a role in exercise selection and the amount of volume you can have. Um, but it's more likely that those people, you know, going back to my definition, need 8, 16, 24 weeks to PR, uh, just purely because of the strength level and how close they are to the ceiling. It's not always the case that a beginner that can get to a 700 pound deadlift quickly will deadlift 1200 pounds. So the roof, the ceiling may be the same and that's kind of when that uniqueness or that individuality comes only really comes to the advanced lifter. If you're kind of, again, a beginner, you just find a good coach, you get pretty linear, you really work on your form and technique and you figure it out. And then the intermediate, I think Shaco, I don't know if he said it in this video or off air, but he basically said that more people are intermediates than they think. The, the intermediate pile is very, very big. It's a, it's a broader spectrum. And that's where he kind of referenced, I think, to, you know, you become the, the bottom of intermediate and try to become the middle of an intermediate and then an advanced intermediate and then maybe you're an advanced you try to get to the top of each thing but that intermediate pile is very long because once you can stop adding five pounds every week you're an intermediate but then even someone like me um because of my strength level i might be to that top end of intermediate before i'm an actually an advanced lifter where the prs are far from uh from common Hopefully you guys enjoyed this series. Be sure to give it a thumbs up. We got more videos dropping from Mr. Boris Shaco. Share with your friends. Subscribe, turn on the notifications, and we'll see you in the next one.